my hands, blood on my shirt, blood on my pants. I gotta get it off by doing this work. I gotta get this blood off. All my grips and bloods lost. She was bought with a price. How much that blood cost? We were slaves there. We were slaves. We were slaves by pharaohs there. We went through slavery, harsh bondage. So that's what, that's what they think of Egypt, right? Even the word Mizraim goes into captivity or Alaska. Oh, the Hebrew word, the Hebrew way of saying it. With ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships, right? So he's basically saying, I'm going to bring you into slavery again with ships. How do we get over to America? On slave ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there he shall be sold unto your enemies. What? Sold unto your enemies. What happened when we got here? Uh, yeah, but we got what? Sold. Yeah, they, they took us They took us out of the slave ships, divided the families off, and sold them to various places on the auction block. That's right. right? Mm -hmm. There you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Slave man and slave woman. Didn't that happen to us? And no man shall buy you. And buy you is going into redeem you, if you look at the Hebrew word. Going to redeem, redeem you, like save you out of this, or buy you out of this slavery. You know, like, like MLK didn't buy us out of slavery. Uh, uh, Malcolm X. 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 Malcolm X
Yeah, we really learned that from slavery. And then Willie Lynch left and Willie Lynch led it to get over on our people, to hate our people, really. That's what we learned that from slavery. But the most I got made it like that, so this so this curse could be fulfilled. Go ahead and read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight, verse fifty four. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. Yeah, we had used to have brotherhood between our brother. We didn't just look at each other and just mug each other all the time. We were tender and delicate to each other. His eye shall be evil towards his brother. That should be what? Evil towards his brother. His eye shall be evil towards his brother. You see, our people will just mug you for no reason, but they're not going to do that to the white man. They don't do that to the Asian man. They're Japanese man. They don't do that to any of them, but they only do it to us. Why? Because that's what was taught to us. <laughs> and slavery. That's, that's, and, this, and, the, and the most I got wrote this, he had this given to Moses to, show, to tell us that one day you're going to get to a point that this is going to happen to you. Why? Because you transgressed the last time you commit. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But I showed you I showed you why it's happening, but I, I'm going to tell you. I showed you I showed you the actual curse, but I didn't show you why it's happening. I'm going to show you why. This. this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. All these curses will come upon you and overtake you. Why? Because you didn't hearken to the Lord. Hearken means listen. We didn't listen to the Most High God to keep his commandments. That's why, that's why we got brought here on slave ships. That's why our eyes evil towards our brother. That's why, that's why we're the first ones fired and the last ones hired. It's because we don't listen to the Lord. Because he made this covenant with us. That's why you see us getting jacked up. You don't see everybody else getting jacked up. Give me, uh, give me, you give me Amos 3 verse 1. You go back to, go back to Deuteronomy uh, 28 verse 54. We didn't finish that out. Well, when you get there, let's go ahead and get there. Deuteronomy 28 verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the wife of his bosom, right? What do you, what do you see with that? That's, yeah, that's domestic, domestic violence, domestic disputes. Watch this. And toward the remnant of his children. And towards his children that he would. Which he shall leave. Which he shall leave. Who's leaving, who's leaving their, uh, their family? Black men. Black men's leaving their families. Black men, the so-called black man is just leaving their family at record numbers to the point where like it's almost a, it's almost a thing like like you just you just expect that out of us. That's what the so-called white man just expects that out of us. It's like, oh, did you, I bet you didn't know your father. Why? Because you see that happening in our neighborhoods. You don't see that happening with everybody else. The most I like got made this happen, put this this, this spirit on us to do this for the great the laws. There's a reason, there's a reason for our condition. It is because we don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments that God told us to keep. That's why he jacks us up. You don't see this happening to everybody else. Because like, if you look at the world, nobody's really keeping the commandments, really. And, but you only see one person, one type of people getting jacked up, and it's us. Watch this. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 4. 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord hath spake, spoken against thee. You... Uh, against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel. So the context is, is the Lord talking to Israel, that's right? Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So he only knew us. I know all the families of the earth. He doesn't know everybody else. He's only the God of the Israelites. We're going to prove that again. Therefore, I will punish you for all of your iniquities. So since he knows us and since he deals with us, he's going to punish us for our iniquities. So the whole world's really not keeping the law, but we're, we're part of that same world not keeping the law, but he's only judging us for it. Why? Because we're the only family he knows. What do we do? Give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we listen to the Lord, to observe and do all his commandments. Do what he said to do from the jump, which is keep the commandments. But the same, the same covenant he made with us in a, with our forefathers after we left the land of Egypt. That same covenant with the law of safety commandments I'm telling you about. If we listen to that, what's going to happen? Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. We'll be set above all nations of the earth. Just like how the so-called white man rules the planet, we're going to rule the planet when we listen to the Lord. We'll, we'll stop seeing uh, George Floyd's on the news, and we'll stop seeing brothers getting shot. You see, like, you, you see all this stuff happening. Why is this happening to us, my brother? If, if there is something special with us, 
why is it like you like you be you be Deuteronomy twenty eight verse sixty six? I'll show you something else. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight, verse sixty six. And the Lord, I mean it's a lot, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Now who does that sound like? Your life shall hang in doubt before thee. Wherever you go, you never know. You, you never know, bro. You can hit the corner one day, you can step on somebody's shoe, bam, they shoot you. You can get into it with a, you can, you can get pulled over by the cop, they can shoot you at any time. I like hanging down. But some of my white men can get out of the car and try to and try to box a cop, and then they'll just try to tase him. Or they might not even tase him, they'll just go with the cop car, take him the damn Burger King, and he'll get arrested and probably be out the same day. But for us, we might get shot. We might get tased. They'll shoot us in front of our families, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, and all three. Jesus, shoot us in front of our families, and your, your wife and your kid, your, your wife will be sitting next to you, and your kids will be in the back watching you bleed out. That happens to us, man, because we don't listen to the Lord. We have to listen to the Lord. That's what we're up here to tell our, our, brothers, our brothers and sisters, man. The blacks and Spanish, we're assigning. The blacks and Spanish and Native Americans who are the true children of God, we need to keep these commandments, or we're going to continue to die in America. Because this, give me this is not our rest. Because this, this place isn't our rest. This place isn't for us at all. America has never been for us. Even, even what it's founded upon, it's talking about uh, all men are created equal, but we were slaves during that time. That's right. So that's not talking about us, which means the Constitution isn't talking about us, which means we have no rights here. None. This place is not our rest. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. What? Not your rest. America is not our rest, my brother. This isn't our place. This isn't, this isn't our land to flourish in. This isn't where we come to come to build our nation. It's, it's been a destruction to our nation as a people since we've been here, really. Because because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword of destruction. Even with the doctrines America believes in, it believes in LGBT. It believes in it believes in you can you can be an adulterer. It believes you can come over here and do whatever you want to do. And when we do that, what is, what does the Most High God do to us? He jacks us up. So if we stay here and get polluted by their doctrines, polluted by their wine and their mannerism, then we continue to do that, we're going to get jacked up by the Most High God. Because what ended up happening is when we came over here on slave ships, they robbed us of our culture. They robbed us of our identity. They robbed us of, of basically our heritage as a whole. So what do we do? We take on their mentalities. We take on their mannerisms and their doctrines. Just like homosexuality, just like being a murderer. We learned all that from the so-called white man. All, all that, our whole mannerisms of being like a, a regular nigga in America, we learned that from the so-called white man. But they want to complain about us saying we're criminals and all that. We learned that from the biggest criminals on the, on the planet. So we need to rise and depart out of this place, man. And what we mean by that, we mean by that mentally. We mean like changing our minds. Because this is what's going to save us. These lost safety commandments are the thing, is the only thing that's going to save us. Because it literally said in Deuteronomy 28, verse 1, if you listen to the Lord and keep the commandments, we're going to set you on high. That's when we're going to be kings. People we talking about we was kings. No, nigga, we are kings. We are kings. And we will be brought into our kingdom once we keep these law, statutes, and commandments. That's what we're out here to tell our people. The church ain't going to take this. The church will tell you that you do whatever you want, come as you are, and stay as you are. And what happens when we stay as we are? We stay in captivity. We stay getting shot. We don't know, what, we don't know what's going to happen to us, bro. Like, yeah, as a black man, you can wake up one day and just die, bro. You, we, we have to worry about that. But the so-called white man doesn't have to worry about that. That's why they can just ride their bikes up, down, up and down the street at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. not having to worry about anything. Because, matter of fact, give me, give me uh, Psalms 73. Give me that. They're not, we're not, they're not in trouble as, as, as others. What, what do you got? Go ahead. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Yay. All Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that, that they might not obey thy voice therefore the curse is poured upon us now the curse is poured upon us like, like i said in deuteronomy 20 verse 15 if we don't listen to the lord the curse is going to fall upon us and since we did it here we are I <laughs> that's what I you get it yeah good my buddy. so uh let me get one more for you i know you're tired of rest let me get one more for you no, I mean, I'm I, oh you're I, out of rest oh, okay cool keep me oh okay cool, cool, cool. <laughs> now give me give me the please ask this question to you this is the book of Psalms, chapter 73, verse 5. They are not in trouble as other men. They're not what? In trouble as other men. Now, when you, when you just, like, just look at just look at the, at the whole scope of America and how it's set up for the so-called black man, right? We, we should be black man. Set up for the so-called black man. When you say we're the most, we're the most, like, attacked, we're the most ravaged, ravaged as a people, 
compared to the so-called white man. They get to just walk up and down the streets. I remember I was in I was in Harlem. I believe it was was it last year. I think when, when was the last year? It was last year. Oh, you didn't go. Year ago. Year ago. It was last year, right? It was last year. We saw we saw in Harlem, white people late at night, walking their dogs, walking their like walking their poodles in Harlem, bro. In Harlem. And not not a, not afraid at all. Why? Because they're not in trouble with others. They know our people ain't gonna do nothing to them. They know the cops ain't gonna do nothing to them. There ain't no danger. But for us, walking out walking out in some neighborhoods at 3 a.m. is like inviting you to get robbed, you to get murdered, and the cops will just stop you for no reason to drum up charges to kill you. That's us. We're in trouble. We're we're in trouble. We have we have. It, it's, it's just dangerous for us to just be just walking in our own streets. It's dangerous for us, but the so-called white man, it's not like that for them. They're not in trouble like how we are, too, right? Neither are they plagued like other men. Yeah, exactly. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. And that's why they're so prideful. That's why they say, oh, there's nothing wrong with the situation. There's nothing wrong with the cops. They're doing their job. But they're beating our ass every damn day. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart to wish. And that's the so-called white man. They have more than heart to wish, but they'll come and steal everything from you. Our people come up with a new dance, guess who's doing it the next day? So-called white man. Our people come up with a new invention, so guess who's there to claim that invention and make it theirs? The so-called white man. That's what they do. That's what, that, that, that's what they do. They have more than heart to wish, but they still want to come take everything we got. Like, if I could say one thing to all y'all, bro, I would say, I really, I really like what y'all doing, building a team to, to try to accomplish something y'all believe in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To get y'all people to come together to believe in something and try to create a movement. I believe that's powerful for sure. To see our flag work through that. So I, I want to say y'all keep doing it. We don't stop, you know what I mean? No oh, yeah. Big, no matter where y'all at. Because y'all can, can really affect change with enough, with enough people, enough teams, different areas. Yeah. Whatever y'all gotta do to do it, y'all believe it. And that's what we that's what we got the camera here so people on the, on the internet can that see was this. On camera? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. Well that's, that's what we got the camera here, man, because this gospel gotta be preached through all the earth till the end can come, my brother. You know, and that's and really that's the whole reason we're out here, because Christ told us to be. We're we're not like how the Christians will sit up in a building and just turn around and just and just say, uh, read one verse and then have everybody eat pork and then go home. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do what Christ said, go to the highways and byways and the cheap, place, cheap places of concourse and teach our people. Cause we want, we want out of this place, my brother. That's right. That's what we want. We don't want to be in America forever. Cause this place is just nothing but be evil to our sister And it's not just about us and what we doing out here, bro. We out here for you. So the next step is what we looking for is for you to repent. And we looking for your repentance, bro, for you to start keeping the law of the most high. Because nothing, nothing, this is going to be not without people on the king so the law of the most high. That's the main thing. We, all of the problems that we just went over, they're corrected by each one of us keeping the laws of the most high. The, 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 the hate towards your brother, the leaving your family, uh, drug dealing, pimping, you know what I mean? All of the different stuff that go on in our community is all healed with just us keeping the law of the most high. Easily, even even out of ten. Give me, give me, give me, uh, give me Exodus twenty. Give me a second. Go to where this is, Joshua. Give me that, please. Because even with this, you know, they talk about the Ten Commandments. Well, if we just kept some three of the Ten Commandments, three of what they call the Ten Commandments, right? That'll solve so many problems in our neighborhood. Give me that, This is the Book of Exodus, chapter twenty, verse thirteen. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill, bro. That's going into murder. That's not murder. You know how we have our brothers, we see our brothers riding on each other, killing each other for no damn reason, over our color. Like, our brothers will get a, get a bandana, just a, get, a, get one of their flags, put it in their pocket, and make themselves a target for somebody to kill them. Then somebody gets mad that they got to go and kill them, and it's just a never ending cycle, bro. It's a never ending cycle. Never in never in this cycle, but if one of those people would be like, you know what? Hold on, real quick. If, if, one, if our people would just be like, you know what? I'm gonna end this cycle, bro. And then it's enough killing. Right. It's enough killing. It's just enough. It's just enough is enough, my yeah, brother. Yeah. If, if one person do that, that'll save somebody else's life. And then somebody else would be like, well, if he's doing that, maybe I should try to do that. Cause I'm tired of going to funerals. People get shot at funerals, bro. People will kill one of the kill. Like say it's like a gang of a gang of brothers, and one of them kills somebody. They'll go to they'll kill him, and they go to the funeral just because they know the other brothers are gonna see there. The other other brothers are gonna see him off. This is gonna be the last time they go see him. They're gonna know they're gonna be in one location. They're gonna go shoot up that funeral, bro. Killing moms, killing children, killing everybody, killing random people who just 
who just knew the guy in passing, who wanted to just mourn his death, that's going to kill him for no reason. That's what our people do. But if we keep thou shalt not kill, which is really not, thou shalt not murder, if we just keep that, my brother, that's saving lives. It's all, like, like just the, the smallest application, the smallest application of a verse in the Bible will save our people. From ourselves, really. Keep going. Quick, keep, keep going. It's, uh... I thought you were about to drop a verse. Exodus 20, <laughs> Exodus 20, verse uh, 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery, right? What do our people make songs about? Taking, taking each other's women, bro. People, they, they glorify taking other people's women. Don't do that, but let, let somebody take their girl. What are they going to do? Probably go crazy and do what? This is probably kill somebody. <laughs> That's... If we just, if we just get our own women, just, just get your own women. Just, wait, there's, there's so many more women on the planet than there is men. There's so many more women on the planet as men. You can't get your own girl, bro. But if we do that, that'll save a life. Because that's going to make somebody get mad and want to kill somebody. Keep going. Exodus, Exodus 20 and 15. Thou shalt not steal. And thou shalt not steal, bro. Who, who be stealing from each other the most? This is to be honest, man. They're stealing from each other the most. Our people, bro. We'll, we'll have all of our people located in this one section of town, and we'll sit there and steal from each other. But the same people who've been stealing from the, the whole goddamn planet will live over there, and they have everything, and they're not going to take from them. Our people will take. Our people will have nothing and steal from each other. But the so-called white man will have millions over there, and they have a damn treasure trove of, of items that you can turn around and flip. And if you want to be honest, you can turn around and flip and make more money. But we'll rather steal from our own people, bro. Like, how are we going to get somewhere if we're just killing each other and, and stealing from each other and doing whatever we want, bro? Matter of fact, that's why the Lord, that's why the Lord sits there and beats us. Give me Hosea 4. That's why the Lord sits there and beats us up, bro. If we can, bro, that's just what we do, man. That's what we do. Give me Hosea 4. Get your priest over, bro. Let's pretend that we're talking about us killing each other. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Verse 11. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. And that's what our people do, bro. They just, they will, if a sinner, if somebody like, like I'll just, I just break it down like this. You have a brother say, look, we're about to go catch a lick, bro. We're about to, we're about to go, we're going we're gonna to ride on somebody. Are you in? And say, if sinners entice you, consent not. Be like, no, man, I'm not going to do that, bro. Because our people, and once we start doing that, then they're going to see me doing it. They're going to see you doing that. They're going to want to get revenge. And what are they going to do? They might come kill me. They might come kill my mom. They might come kill somebody I know. If sinners entice you, consent not. Don't do that, bro. We just need somebody. We need our people to say, oh, you know what? Enough is enough, bro. Enough is enough, bro. No, aren't, you, aren't we tired of people on T-shirts? Are we tired of saying R.I.P. Somebody, somebody got like a somebody posted on their car R.I.P. Tyrell and Tyrone, whatever. Like I've seen that, bro. Like, like, <laughs> and it sounds like it sounds like I'm being it sounds like I'm being like stereotypical, but I've seen that. Bro. I've seen that in my hometown. Like, I'm, I'm like I don't know if you're in uh, Temple, Texas. Yeah, I do. yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that in Temple, Texas, bro. Growing up, that's what I've seen. That's not even. It's not even. Like I'm just coming up with names. That's, that's literally what I've seen, and I'm tired of seeing that. And since I'm tired of seeing that, I'm tired. I'm tired. I mean, since I'm tired of seeing that, I'm trying to make change in my people, so that they can be tired of seeing that, so we can finally come, to, come, come together as the nation and get out of this place. Bro. That's what we're trying to do. Bro. That's 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 what we're up here for, man. Give me Hosea. Hosea four. It's the book of Hosea, chapter four, verse six. Verse one. Oh, verse one. Says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. But the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. And that's and that he's talking about he's talking about Israelites, right? He has a controversy with us, bro. There's no truth. There's no truth in us. When the truth is really the law, statutes, commandments, uh pursued in pursuant to the Bible in uh, Psalms and Psalms 147, right? Not 147, 119, 119, it's like, it's like. There's no truth in us. We don't keep these law statutes and commandments. That's why the most high God continues to drag us up. That's why there's a controversy with us. Why? Because we're murderers, we're killers, we're still from each other. We 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 just we just evil towards each other. That's why he continues to jack us up. Let's keep going. What's up? Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, you appreciate it? Yeah, I just don't want to deal with too much. Okay, cool. Well, uh, let me leave you one. Let me leave you one. Give me, give me an Ecclesiastes 12. Now we get that. Let me leave you with this one. 
It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Like, like, the whole matter of life, or what the whole reason of life. Let's hear the conclusion of the whole thing. Go ahead. Fear God and keep his commandment. Do what? Fear God and keep his commandments. We have to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. That's what we're supposed to do, man. That's the whole, like, even, if the, even if you want to just sum it up to the conclusion of this whole matter, what we're telling you to do is keep these commandments, bro. Because it'll be well for you after that. Because if we don't keep these commandments, the most I got to kill you. He's going to kill more people. We're going to kill our, our, like, our people just in general, bro. So you need to do your part and keep these commandments and repent. Keep going. For this is the whole duty of man. This is your whole duty as being a man, bro is to keep these commandments and to repent. And on top of that, teach your people, teach your uh, teacher, teach your people. That's what we gotta do. That's what we out here for, man. That's what we're ready to do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one. 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 Alright, let's go to the next one.